today guys it's going to be an amazing day hopefully guys we can find something great if not as always we've been blessed and we've been blessed with a lot more so guys let's get started with our dumpster diving adventure so this is what caught my attention down here this Prada, whatever it is. Let me see if there's something in here. No, it's just a Prada box. So here it is. It's just a Prada box with the envelope that goes with it. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find the top of it somewhere in here. No, there's no top of anything. No, no. So I'm just going to leave this here because I don't have the top. That would have been a good find. Definitely could have sold it. Let's see what we have over here. A pizza box. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Okay. It's Melissa and Doug pizza for the babies. We have toys in here. Look at this. Oh, I'm going to donate this stuff. Oh, I'm going to get this. Let me get this. Oh, see, the bag is ripping. So, we also have some flat irons in here. We have a bottle. I don't want that. We have some, uh, who are these guys? Okay, this is by Circulon. Not sure what type of pots these are. But I am going to do a completed listing on them. come and give an update on this mocha rose lip balm that I found a while ago when I first found it it was new you know with the wrapping and everything on it I was going to give it away as a gift but I ran out of lip gloss and so I seen this downstairs I opened it I used it oh my goodness guys I have to say this is by far one of the best lip balms that I've used um as you can see it's mocha rose with vanilla that's what it looked like in the inside like some really nice quality lip balm it goes on very smooth i'm gonna let you smell it uh smells delicious it smells just like vanilla it doesn't make that white residue that you see on the side of people mouths when they wear lip gloss this is really really good and it's not too much shine and it's not too sticky i saw some on amazon i did see some on ebay and i think they had one on walmart's online store as well and you can pay about between five to six dollars for it but it's definitely worth it so again guys if you are looking for a really good lip balm, try this Mocha Rose lip balm. They have this flavor and they also have a chocolate flavor. Not sure how that is, but I might go ahead and try to buy some and see what it's like. Okay, so here is a lucky quarter. Got that. Put that in my pocket for the homeless. Let's see what else. Let's see what else we have over here. I think I'm gonna use this bag to put all of my goodies in, put my goodies over here because I got a feeling I'm gonna find something great. Here's an umbrella called Red Smith. A good looking umbrella that I can use. Put that right there. A Nordstrom bag. A magazine that I don't want. Put those. Here's some shaky shade. It's just a little sharpie here. Another umbrella. But it's broken. I'm gonna that up here. We have a few socks that I'm gonna try to find all the mates to and take them to the homeless shelter. So I'm gonna put those over here. See if I can make them. Here's a shirt by Banana Republic, a medium. Steam it really good and clean it. 
here more socks put those right here o m g look what we have here a freaking cartier box look at that all the little cartier what are these cartier samples look at that o m g and if you guys remember a while back i sold a cartier box on ebay and i got 85 dollars, i believe to give or take i don't remember the exact amount but i got a lot of money for a smaller one than this i can only imagine how much this one is going to cost and it also have the uh sample perfumes in it so this is definitely a great find let's see what we have over here we have a bag here Saks Fifth Avenue, like a shopping tote that I can definitely use. We have an Andy Warhol picture here. It's an Andy Warhol. It is a registered mark of Andy Warhol Foundation for the Visual Art Inc. So now I'm going inside of this residential area. I've never been here before. So I'm gonna see whether or not I can find something great before they shoo me away. What do we have over here? We have a shirt, cape, and uh, there's another shirt here. There's more clothes that I can give away to the homeless shelter as well. We have this mattress on the floor. Let's see what we have in here. Uh, Let's see, I'm about to pull this garbage can out soon. Let's see what I have in here. All right, so I'm leaving the actual residential area and I had to leave because I seen a hairball in there and I wasn't quite sure what the hair was. So instead of me taking a chance at moving it around and it being a dead animal, I decided to walk away. However, I did get the TJ Maxx bag here with a few items in it that I'm gonna take to the home of the shelter. So that's all I really needed. I wasn't gonna go deeper and then get hit with something or get bit by something. So I just decided, you know, the juice wasn't worth the squeeze. So something is better than that. All right, let's see what we have in these cons. <sighs> let's see. Hmm, I see a bag over here, bag over there, and a bag over there. Let's see if it's something in here. Have a hat here. A Trojan man. Trojan man. It expired in 2016. Have another hat here that I can donate. brush another brush some type of strap some jewelry this is pretty more jewelry okay guys we have a bag full of stuff some more jewelry all right some brushes still in the bag okay i think i'm gonna go ahead with some brave some Ray-Ban glasses. I'm gonna go ahead and take this entire bag. What's in here? Some glasses here that's broken, but I could just, oh, these are all the way broken. There's no repairing these. All right, throw that in the I'm not sure what this is from the bookstore. Who is this by? I wanna say, yep, Vera Bradley glasses case. Okay, guys, so we have a bunch of stuff in here. What's in here? Let's see. What do we have in here? I don't know what this is. Some kind of lens that I can sell on eBay. So I'm going to take this back here. We have a toilet bowl out here with all the screws and nuts and bolts. 
to go along with it. I wish I knew somebody that needed it. Now for the big reveal. Let's see if we have poop in here. Anybody ready? Here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. Nah, no poopy. So now that I am in a secluded area, I'm gonna go ahead and check those bags that I found earlier today. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Let's dive in. We have a J. Crew dust bag here. Uh, we've seen this earlier. The Vera Bradley sunglasses case or eyeglass case. Let's see if there's anything in it. Nope, it's empty. Here's some jewelry. Put that over there. More jewelry. Put that over there. Some gum. Not gonna keep it because I don't know what they probably could have done with it. A letter. Make sure there's no cash in there. Nope. Another J. Crew dust bag. We have a a wallet here. Who is this though? Does it have a name on it? Nah, no name. Let me see. What is this? Oh, here it is. I don't know what this is. Never heard of this brand. It's called. Can't quite make it out. I don't know. If you guys know what that is, leave a comment down in the description box. Not sure what that is, but we got that. Put that over there. We have a J. Crew iPhone case. Put that over there. Another iPhone case by Kate Spade. And as you can see, it's worth $18.97. And by the way, here's a Kate Spade's box that I found earlier. Just didn't record it. Really didn't have time to. More jewelry. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is a cool looking... I don't know what this is, guys. I have no idea what this is, but this is so cool. Look at that. It's like a bouquet of roses inside of a vase. This is really cute. I think I might keep this and put this in my house. I'll give it to Taylor so she can put it in her room for decoration. Because, you know, she's into really feminizing her room now. So I think she'll like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Uh, let's see. Bunch of stuff that I'm going to put in the trash. Oh, nope. Here's another necklace, but it looks as if it has some type of marking on it. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't really say. Oh, look. Here is another. This is definitely a perfume bottle top, but I'm going to put that right there. So hopefully I'm in luck and I can find Here we go. I knew it. Mark Jacobs. And we still have something in there. Hear that. So we'll put that right there. Let's go. Deodorant. What's this? A watch. Uh oh. Looks like I'm about to drop it. Whoa! Look at that, guys. Freaking Michael Chorus. Boo yeah! I don't know if those are diamonds in there. Look at that. I'm going to give you a closer look. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Oh, my gosh. A tortoise shell watch. Oh, my goodness, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see the back. If it's authentic or not. Let's see. Michael Kors MK5399. That's the watch type. Stainless steel. OMG. Yeah, buddy. Yes. Put that right on over there. What else do we have in here? Come on, God. Come through for your girl. The Ray-Ban glasses that I seen earlier. I'm going to keep this little plug. I never have enough of those. Oh, shoot, man. This thing, I don't know what that is either. But that is this thing. We have a Prestige Brilliance. Bron bronzer brush, like $7.99. What else is in here? We have this cool looking necklace. Look at that. That's cool. Put that there. Uh, what else do we have in here? No way. No freaking way. No freaking way. 
another Michael Kors watch, but this looks as if it's a man's version. OMG! My husband is going to love this. And let's see if this one have a number on the back too. Yep. MK. I don't know if you can see it. Uh-oh. MK5055. Look at that, guys. Come on now. This bag is just... Yes. This bag is full of goodies. What else do we have in here? The necklace that I showed you guys earlier. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, some costume jewelry. Put that over there. Uh, this necklace. Oh, this is pretty. Look at that, guys. Look at that, guys. That's beautiful. Look at that. Let me see. This costume or not. This is by J. Crew. Let's see. What do we have in here? We definitely got something here. Let's see. What is in there? We have some coins. I'm not sure if you can see that. Look at that. We have a few right there. Some coins that I can give to somebody in need. And I'm going to put my quarter that I found earlier right in this bag. We have, what is this? A, a bracelet here. Let's see who it's by. Definitely 925, so that's sterling silver. Let's see what it says. Who is it by? Come on now, I need you to flip over, buddy. All right, let's see who this is by. Uh, I can't quite make out the name. OMG, Tiffany and Company. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. Oh my gosh, wait, let me stand up so you can see it. See that? Tiffany and Co. O M freaking G. Look at that, guys. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Tiffany and Co. Wow. Somebody threw away a sterling silver Tiffany bracelet. As I was looking in the makeup case, I came across this ring. So I decided to turn it over to look at the inscriptions. As you can see, it's a Tiffany and Co. ring. I'm gonna take this as well as the bracelet that I found, have them appraised as well as cleaned and get all the tarnish off of them. And I'm gonna basically put this with the rest of my Tiffany collection. So I found this baby doll here. Of course, it just looked like a regular little baby doll. I look on the back here and I notice some numbers. I'm not sure what this doll is worth. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do some research on this doll. If you have any information or any uh, understanding about those numbers that's on the back, please leave me a comment below. Let's see what we have over here. We have this cool looking swivel chair. Oh, this is a nice chair, look, and it goes in circles. That's a cool chair, but I think I'm gonna keep it here. But this is what caught my attention, these clothes here that will definitely be getting donated to the shelter. A London Fog trench coat in really good condition that I will be donating to the homeless shelter. Earlier today, I told you guys this was a man's watch. I am sadly mistaken. It is not a man's watch. This is indeed a woman's watch as well. So I have two Michael Kors watches that I was able to salvage right here in the trash can. How cool is that? So guys, that is it. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please do remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Make sure you leave comments down in the comment section because I enjoy interacting with you guys. Also guys, if you are not aware, I have another YouTube channel. And on that channel, guys, you will see my family and I interacting with one another, as well as me doing various things that I decided not to do on this channel. So guys, if you're interested, make sure you look down in the comment section. I left the link for you there. Also, guys, I am a published author. That's right, guys. I 
have a book, a book, a book, a great book, guys. Um, and I would love for you to check it out. Make sure, guys, you check your local Barnes & Noble. You go on Amazon and look for the title, Finding Your Treasure. And guess what? The book is even an audiobook with Google Play as well as Audible. Again, look under the title, Finding Your Treasure, and you will be able to see my book. And as always, guys, I'll see you guys in the next YouTube video. I'm on a mission to serve in whatever capacity the Lord sees fit. I had no idea I'd globally impact the world. I took what others threw away and positively changed minds. People in France, Qatar, the Philippines, and other countries are now following me along on this journey.